हेलो ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर किंजल जानी रेडिएशन ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट एट एससीजी कैंसर सेंटर अहमदाबाद आई एम डॉक्टर मैत्री गांधी रेडिएशन ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट एट एससीजी कैंसर सेंटर अहमदाबाद वेलकम टू योर एक्सपर्ट न्यूज़ अ वीडियो सीरीज बाय एससीजी एक्सपर्ट इन कैंसर केयर टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम ऑफ द मोस्ट गूगल्ड क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू रेडियोथेरेपी व्हिच वी गिव इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ कैंसर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Uh, I'll ask the next question to Dr. Maitri. The one of the most Google question is, what type of cancers are treated with radiotherapy? Radiotherapy can be uh, given in all types of solid tumors. It can cure all type of solid tumors except some of the blood cancers, where usually chemotherapy is required, and some of the tumors which are radio resistant, where uh, surgery or chemotherapy is more preferred rather than radiotherapy. <coughs> Now the next question uh, goes to Dr. Kinjal is does radiotherapy lead to hair loss Okay so people compare chemotherapy and radiotherapy we all know chemotherapy leads to hair loss but again not all chemotherapy lead to hair loss similarly for radiotherapy there is a patchy hair loss so the hair loss happens to the area where radiation is given so if i am treating a brain tumor with radiotherapy patient will have a partial hair loss if i am treating a area on the head and neck region a uh, gentleman would have a hair loss on his cheek on his neck so the hair loss which happens during radiotherapy is to the area where it is given and it is usually temporary majority of the patient the hair comes back after 3 to 6 months so another most google question to dr maitri is can i work during radiotherapy yes absolutely you can carry on all your routine activities during radiotherapy unless in the later part of radiotherapy if you may feel sick or weak then you may discontinue some of the activities uh, the next question uh, is hospitalization required during radiotherapy yeah so as i told earlier also you know people can take it as a opd based procedure but there are a few conditions where patient do require hospitalization if the patient is sick he cannot come to the hospital every day then we might need to admit the patients but otherwise in general it is a opd based procedure patient come take the treatment they are in the hospital for half an hour then they can go and do the routine activities but yes for some sick patients we do require hospitalization for a time being so uh, my next question to dr maitri is what are the side effects of radiotherapy so the side effects of radiotherapy is generally site specific uh, for example if you are treating the areas of the head and neck the most common uh, side effect will be mouth ulcers throat pain difficulty in swallowing dry mouth and if you are treating a patient of the abdomen or the pelvic area then the complaints may be uh, increased frequency of stools bladder irritation causing increased frequency of micturition or burning micturition or otherwise abdominal pain so basically the side effects of radiotherapy are generally only site specific not generalized to the whole body another question which is the most google question is are the side effects permanent okay so as rightly said by dr maitri the side effects depend on the site where the radiotherapy is given usually the side effects are temporary and in de- it depends on the dose which is given so if i given a very high dose to a particular area patient would feel some side effects in a longer period of time also but majority of the side effects are temporary and they are when the side effects happen you can cure it with the treatment so there are side effect management drugs are available with which we can control the side effects and over a period of 3 to 6 months patient become back to normal Yes so my next question to Dr Maitri is what are the cure rates of radiotherapy So the cure rates it depends on the stage of the tumor so by and large if any tumor is detected in early stage that is stage 1 then the cure rates may go up to around 90% if it is detected in stage 2 maybe around 75 to 80% if in stage 3 the cure rate may be around 60% and if in stage 4 then if it is already a metastatic disease and the chances of cure are negligible 
but if it is still within a curative range then around 30 to 40 percent so with this we have come to the end of the this edition uh, where we discussed about the role of radiotherapy in the cancer management uh, i hope you like the answers given by dr maitri and myself if you want if you have any queries you can ask us into the comments please do like it do share this with your colleagues uh, let the population general population know more about radiotherapy uh, thank you so much